to Arizona Daily Mix up here in Prescott. And if you live here in Prescott, you know what a special little gym this darling town is. Not so little anymore. 42,000 people is the population in historic Prescott and goes up to 100,000 people in the surrounding areas. No one knows this better than this next panel of guests I have. Elaine Earl, founder and owner of Prescott Living Magazine. Thanks yes. for joining us today. Thank you for having us. Uh, Wendy Bridges, you are the Economic Develop Co Development Coordinator. Excuse me. Nice to have you. Thank you. John Heine, and you are Prescott City Office of Tourism. Yes. Thanks for Thank being you. with us. Great. So, Elaine, let's start with the Prescott Living Magazine. Tell us what you're here to talk about today. Yes. Well, we have a number of publications in the Prescott area, and for the last three years, we've done the City of Prescott Official Visitor's Guide, so we've gotten to know the city very well. Um, we have the Prescott Living Magazine that just rolled out about a year ago, very successful, also ties together the community. Um, we have other publications here as well, smaller, some tourism, um, some statewide pieces, and we really felt that there was a need to put together an economic development publication for the city. And this is different. Um, it is not a visitor guide. It's not a living magazine. Um, it's not a chamber directory. This is something that sells the city to prospective businesses. So the city goes to economic development conferences around the state. Um, there's one next week, actually, a statewide one. There was one last week. They get contacted by site selectors. They have CEOs coming into the airport. And people say, wow, this is a beautiful place. What do you have? here and they have to give the elevator sp speech right. right we have five lakes we're the first territorial capital we're the third largest metro in Arizona oh well do you have something I can take with me I'm looking to set up um, a site here or I have I, I see you have Embry-Riddle what ca happens at Embry-Riddle so what we're looking um, well we're actually producing right now coming out very very soon is a piece like the Prescott Living magazine very nice showcase on Prescott economic development uh, and that's really like their Bible you know, this is Prescott. This is what, um, and it's a very timely piece too because there's always announcements, there's new businesses. We have Risa, for example, Vinyl Visions, things always coming in. So it's a timely piece we're expecting to do every year, um, but it was very, we're very excited about it. And it just helps these guys say the message. Yeah, you know? absolutely. So you let's can, talk about yeah. tourism. Yeah, Tell absolutely. me about what's going on with tourism. Sure. Here. So one of the things we learned early on, actually, I've been here for just a little bit over a year, and Wendy's been with the city for for about 10 years, mm -hmm. um, tourism and economic development actually go hand in hand. So a lot of times folks sure. will come here to visit, uh, like I did actually for many years, a long time visitor and then decided this was a great place to live. In some cases, uh, folks want to start businesses here as well. So that visitor experience, the quality of life, the things that Prescott has to offer, our trails and all the mm -hmm. amenities, they really help draw people here on the tourism side. But we hope to keep them and have them come back and talk about investing in real estate and business operations sure. as well. That's a very important part. I was surprised to see that we have both national and international businesses here in Prescott. Absolutely, yeah. We have, we have a, a great mix and we also have, um, I had a chance to visit some of the small manufacturing companies that we have around the airport and we have a, we have a great epicenter of small manufacturing metal fabrications and things like mm -hmm. that aside from some of the big names like Ruger mm -hmm. and some of the others that are here in Davison's and some of those that are, that are nationally known. So are you seeing a big influx of people coming, moving here for jobs? Yeah, we definitely are getting a lot of interest. One of the things that we're trying to do uh, is talk about high tech. So small manufacturing now is kind of morphing into a high tech 3D printing and that type of thing. So we're working to get uh, high tech companies here, maybe not their headquarters, but maybe a satellite operation. Mm -hmm. Something where they, again, they come here, they come to a conference mm -hmm. and they see what's going on. They want to invest here somehow. We kind of find ways for them to be able to do that and maybe have a satellite operation. So definitely bringing folks here. The other important thing is is really finding jobs for our young people. Yeah. So we have four institutes of higher learning. We have Embry-Riddle. These are, these are world-class engineering and pilots and things like that. But most of them are going somewhere else. Right. So how do we find opportunities to keep them here through workforce? So how do we retain them? There's a lot of different ways. Do you want to talk about workforce a little bit, Wendy? Well, one of the things that's really important in doing this piece with Rox Media Group is that we are able to give a, a good comprehensive view of what kind of industry already exists in Prescott. Mm -hmm. But what makes this piece really unique is that we're also highlighting on the quality of life attributes. So we're talking about the higher education. We're talking about some of our um, uh, industry in our community. And then we're also talking about what a Great place Prescott is to live. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know, part of that, I know Yavapai College has a fantastic nursing program, and our healthcare system mm -hmm. here has just really um, expanded. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. And uh, I've talked with the folks at Yavapai Regional Medical Center, and uh, they're actually it's their 40th anniversary. I'll give them a plug. Oh yeah, so, uh, <laughs> or 70th. 
Seventy. 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 Yeah, absolutely. So we are blessed, as we've talked about. We've got the four institutes of higher learning, uh, you know, with Embry Riddle and and Yavapai College, Northern Arizona, and then Prescott College. So they're all right here. That's important. Mm -hmm. But we also have great PUSD. Our mm -hmm. Unified School District is excellent. Joe Howard and the team there are working very hard on some major issues right now. And then also we have a really good, uh, you know, several private, uh, mm -hmm. you know, schools as well, like prep schools and things like that, like yeah. basis and that type of thing. Yeah. Yes. And we're just about out of time. But one thing I do want to make sure we touch on mm -hmm. is housing. That's, you know, the most crucial part. Right. You're planning on moving here. You are moving here. We wanted about real estate in the market. What's going on with that? The real estate market is really active in Prescott right now. Um, something that we're seeing that's uh, pretty new to a community like ours is a lot more multifamily housing options. We have some projects that are coming online very soon for apartments and condos, and that's not something that we've had here before, so it's really exciting. Yeah, it is. And the special thing about Prescott, too, is you don't only have Prescott where real estate may be a little higher. Mm -hmm. You have the outskirts as well, Prescott Valley. You have Chino Valley, mm -hmm. where you can get things a bit cheaper. And so and mm -hmm. it's, it's a very... Uh, it's not a long commute at all. It's very short, so that yeah, is a it's special a, it's place. It's a good market. You mentioned 100,000. It provides a lot of opportunity for retailers to service a larger market. Absolutely. Right. Uh, last question for you, Elaine. Where can yes. we pick up a copy of Prescott Living Magazine? It, it'll be debuted next week at the Arizona Conference, and you can get one at the city, and also there's about 35 different industries supporting the publication, um, everywhere from the higher education to the um, to the airport, so you can yeah. get a copy. Just request one, prescottbiz.com. Yes. yes. Okay, great. Thank you all so Thank much you. for being with Thank us. You. Thanks, Prescott Living Magazine. Okay. Thank you for joining us here on the Arizona, Arizona Daily Mix. We'll be right back after the break.